Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. A warm welcome to all in this inauguration ceremony of the virtual exhibition of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020-2021 Mongomondo Youth Art Competition. We are pleased to announce that Mr. Mohammad Zaid Hassan Rasul MP, Honorable State Minister for Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Government of Bangladesh, is with us as the chief guest. We have Mr. K. M. Khalid MP, Honorable State Minister for the Ministry of Cultural Affairs of the Government of Bangladesh, as the chair of this program. Mr. Taha Ayan, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF, Istanbul, Turkey, is the guest of honor of today's program. Mr. Mohammad Akhtar Hussain, Senior Secretary, Minister of Youth and Sports, and Mr. M. Badrul Arifin, Secretary, Minister of Cultural Affairs, are with us as a special guests. Mr. Liaqat Ali Laki, Director General, Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy, as well as Mrs. Saida Mahbuba Karim, Director of Fine Arts Department of Bangladesh Shilpakal Academy, is also gracing the occasion. Honorable Chief Guest, Chairperson, Guest of Honor, and Special Guests are joining today's program online. As you can see them all on the screen, I would like to invite Mr. Liakat Ali Lucky, Honorable Director General of Bangladesh Shilpakal Academy, to kindly deliver welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Liakat Ali Lucky. Shubho Aparanho Achkir Unushane Shamanito Prothanutiti Gona Projodunti Bangladesh or Karir Jubo Kriya Montona Manunio Protimontri Janab Mohammed Jaid Ahasan Rasil MP Achkir Unushane Shamanito Shabhapoti Gona Projunti Bangladesh Shokari Shanshki Bishak Montoleman in Protimontri, Janab K. M. Khalid MP Shamanito Otiti Taha Aihan International Cooperation Youth Forum IC YFIR Shabapoti Shamanito Bishesh Otiti Janab Mohammed Akhtar Hussain Otrik to Shochib Amidukito Senior Shochib, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Bishay Shotiti Janab Mohammed Badrul Arifin, Shamanito Shochib, Shanshkit Bishak Montale, Ebong Achke Ekanoposti Tachin, Jini Donobad Gapon Kurbin, Charukola Bivhagir. Polichalok, Mahabuba Kurim, Otiti Brindo, among Amade Shomanito viewer. Achkiri Ajunti Amade Jono Tonto, Anonde Abongo Rovid, Shejon Namra, Bangladesh Pogalaki in Pokoteke, Shams Rister Shokolke, Anturi Babikito Gotabang Donobad, Gapon Kuchi. Dhaka's announcement as the YC Youth Capital 2020, which is an important recognition of the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her government's place towards youth development to ensure a sustainable future provided a glimmer of hope during the time of COVID pandemic. It is also a pleasant coincidence coincidence that 2020 was the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, and to celebrate the year, both the government and the Shilpakal Academy have been holding a series of programs to celebrate the leader who led the Bengalis to victory in 1971. Some around 50 million or 30% of the total 170 million people of Bangladesh are young, while in the YC region, one third of the around 1.5 billion Muslims are youth. The most important task at hand is to recognize and tap the potential of the youth population 
we must also devise programs to promote their continued development so that they can grow in awareness of the world and are able to equip themselves to face the challenges of both present and future. The program drawn up by the Ministry of Youth and Culture in association of Ministry of Cultural Affairs and Foreign Affairs in alignment with the declaration of OIC Youth Capital 2020 by the Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum are aimed to such concrete development. Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy is pleased to be a part of this program that seeks to lend momentum to the development of youth across the Islamic world and beyond. In line, with the vision of our Prime Minister and the founding father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, we are holding competition entitled Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020 Bangabandhu YC Youth Art Competition. The event has been cast around the broader theme of resilience for parity and prosperity as across the Islamic world, people are focused on building a future which would ensure uniform progress of all the nations. The event provides an opportunity for the youth to develop a sense of solidarity and strengthen broadly ties among themselves, especially among the OIC member countries. The event Bangamundu OIC Youth Art Competition was focused on creativity and artists aged between 18 to 35 from the OIC member states and Muslim countries of countries where Muslims are a minority were also asked to participate. We divided the world into three regions, Bangladesh, Asian region and the rest of the world. The theme exhibition, the theme of the exhibition was resilience for parity and prosperity. And since the pandemic is still raging all over the world and Bangladesh too has witnessed the emergence of the second wave of infections, we decided to stage a virtual show of calligraphy art contemporary art, graphic design, and photography. These categories were deemed important to our goal was to harness the creativity energy that usually finds its expression across wide range of fields among which calligraphy serves as a point of entry into devotional life of Muslim across the world while modern art, graphic design, and photography provide ways for us to be the equal footing with the progressive vision of the developed world. The exhibition would run its course from 17 June to 16 July. There are four winners in four grand hours in four categories. Each will receive a certificate along with uh, 2,500 US dollars. There are regional awards in four categories for artists representing their three regions in the hierarchical uh, order of first, second, and third prizes. Each first prize winner will receive 500 US dollars, while each second prize winner will get uh, 300 US dollars, and each third prize owner will get 200 US dollar. I would like to thank the jury member who painstakingly shifted their, the throw the entries to grade them and finally selected the works for grand hours. After months of preparation, while the official of the academy uh, and those of the ministries collaborated towards the event is 
heartening to see the outcome at last in the form of the exhibition i would like to thank all who made this project a success some by taking the lead other by committing their time and energy into it i am pleased and uh, i would like to pay my gratitude to the honorable chief guest mr jahid hasan rasul mp and honorable chair janab k m khalid mp and guest of honor mr taha aihan and honorable senior secretary minister of youth and sports mr akhtar hussain and honorable secretary mr badrul arifin ministry of cultural affairs to give all the idea what this virtual show would look like there are some details gallery number 2 of national art gallery of bangladesh shilpakala academy has been selected for the virtual gallery to facilitate the visitors from home the event is being broadcast directly online from the venue visitors are requested to visit www.shilpakala.gov.bd the world is in state of emergency today as a sinister type of virus has brought things to a standstill it is in such protracted crisis that we must ensure that our youth find appropriate ways to channel their creativity to offset the negative impact it is to overcome all present and future crises that we need young people to drive initiatives that directly affect their lives which in turn would prepare the ground for the future leadership thank thank you thank you all thank you so much honorable director general of bangladesh shilpakala academy mr liaquat ali lucky for your kind words as the welcome speech ladies and gentlemen for the virtual exhibition 100 artworks have been selected for the virtual exhibition as i said already and for the competition 32 regional awards have been selected as you know already honorable dg said uh, the exhibition and the competition has been divided into three different regions bangladesh region asia region and the rest of the world region ladies and gentlemen now i would like to invite mr m badrul arifin honorable secretary ministry of cultural affairs government of the people's republic of bangladesh to kindly deliver his speech as a special guest bismillahirrahmanirrahim bangobondhu youth art competition jeta dhaka yc youth capital 2020 ekish er otay amader ditiyo boro program ajke shuru hote jacche etar sammanito pradhan otithi janab mohammad zahid hasan rasel mp মাননীয় প্রতিমন্ত্রী যুব ক্রীড়া মন্ত্রণালয় গণপ্রজাতন্ত্রী বাংলাদেশ আজকের অনুষ্ঠানের সভাপতি জনাব কে এম খালিদ এমপি মাননীয় প্রতিমন্ত্রী সংস্কৃতি বিষয়ক মন্ত্রণালয় এবং বিশেষ অতিথি জনাব মোহাম্মদ আখতার হোসেন সিনিয়র সচিব যুব ক্রীড়া মন্ত্রণালয় আমাদের গেস্ট অফ অনার মিস্টার তাহা আইহান হয়তো সংযুক্ত হননি শিব বাংলাদেশ শিল্পকলা একাডেমির সম্মানিত মহাপরিচালক জনাব লিয়াকত আলী লাকি এবং পরিচালক শিল্পকলা জনাব মাহবুবা করিম সম্মানিত সুজিবৃন্দ লেডিজ এন্ড জেন্টলম্যান শুভ বিকাল আসসালামু আলাইকুম শুরুতেই বিনম্র শ্রদ্ধা বরে স্মরণ করছি সর্বকালের সর্বশ্রেষ্ঠ বাঙালি স্বাধীনতার মহান স্থপতি জাতির পিতা বঙ্গবন্ধু শেখ মুজিবুর রহমান 
তিনি তার অনন্য সাহসী নেতৃত্বে আমৃত্যু আত্মত্যাগের বিনিময়ে আমাদের উপহার দিয়েছেন স্বাধীন সার্বভৌম বাংলাদেশ রাষ্ট্র স্মরণ করছি অমর একুশের শহীদদের মাতৃভাষার মর্যাদা রক্ষার জন্য যারা প্রাণ উৎসর্গ করেছেন সে সঙ্গে স্মরণ করছি শিক্ষা ও ছাত্র আন্দোলন উনসত্তরের গণ অভ্যুত্থানের শহীদ সহ একাত্তরের মহান মুক্তিযুদ্ধের শহীদ নির্যাতিত দুই লক্ষ মা বোন আমাদের স্বাধীনতার আন্দোলনে সংস্কৃতি ক্ষেত্রের যে আত্মত্যাগকারী সকলকে সম্মানিত সভাপতি আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানটি তার আন্তর্জাতিকতা বিবেচনায় ইংরেজিতে পরিচালিত হওয়ার কথা এবং এই রেকর্ডেড ইভেন্ট ওয়াইস এর সাথে যদি শেয়ার করতে হয় সে বিবেচনায় আপনার অনুমতিক্রমে আমি ইংরেজিতে আমাদের লিখিত বক্তব্য উপস্থাপন respected audience in the virtual platform at the very outset i would like to welcome you again in the grand opening ceremony of dhaka youth oic youth capital 2021 bangabandhu youth art competition organized by bangladesh youth academy i would like to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude and warmth of aspiration that you have shown with strong enthusiasm and keen interest for the youth art competition here in Bangladesh. Within a very short span of time, you have made this journey possible and made our event colorful. The announcement of Dhaka Bangladesh as the OIC Youth Capital 2020 during the Mujib 100 year and during 50 years in independence of Bangladesh is a great achievement for the people of Bangladesh. This was possible due to the extraordinary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, and her spirited government. We also express our heartfelt thanks to OIC and ICYF for this honor. Ministry of Cultural Affairs, since its inception, with the objective for conservation and development of the Bangladesh art, culture, archaeology, etc., continues with great contributions to spreading those among the national and international arena. Patronizing the Bangabandhu Youth Art Competition under the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020-21 is a great privilege to us. Ladies and gentlemen, culture is the expression of every aspect of lives of the people of a community, society, or a nation. It retains the day-to-day -day life of a people and their activities. Basic component of culture is knowledge, belief, ideology, education, language, ethics, laws and regulations, customs, and many others, with the help of which a man identifies himself as a member of a particular society and nation, as a sovereign nation. It has also become imperative that to develop friendly and cultural relationships with partner countries, foreign nations, cultural agreements have to be concluded and cultural exchange programs have to be implemented. Bangladesh has given priority to uphold our cultural identity. Article 23 of the Great Constitution of Bangladesh describes the state will make arrangements to preserve and protect cultural traditions and heritage and to nourish and develop the national language, literature, and arts in the way people from all walks of life can have opportunity to contribute to and participate in the flourishment of national culture. In addition, Article 24 holds, the state will make arrangements to protect the places of historic importance, arts, relics, and artifacts from distortion, damage, or removal. Bangladesh has its own rich cultural heritage to glorify the image of the country in the world. It's possible to strengthen the position of the country as a nation through an appropriate development of our culture and cultural heritages. Cultural activities can also be a suitable component for the economic development of the country. It's possible to develop a living cultural economy through inclusive patronization among cultural activities, cultural traditions, tourism, and trades. Distinguished audience, the area of culture in Bangladesh is wide and extensive. 
cultural activities of Bangladesh are one of vital factors of development of its economy. An effective measure can be adopted to develop a sustainable economy and to remove poverty by integration of tourism and commerce with cultural activities too. The Minister of Cultural Affairs is working hard to protect and uplift the national cultural heritages and preserve the values of the people. The mission of the ministry is to enhance and enrich nation's intellect to preservation, research, development, and promotion of native culture, history, and heritage, spirit of liberation war, and contemporary arts and literature. Distinguished participants, as we know, the exhibition was to be held in the past year, 2020. A lot of changes through the year due to worldwide corona pandemic has occurred. At last, the exhibition got the light of execution to be held from today, 17 June to 16 July, 2021, virtually. Comprising of the young artists of Bangladesh and the world, this exhibition showcased the contribution of the young artists and their work to build peaceful collaboration among the young generations. The convergence of the month-long exhibition with the grand celebration of the birth centenary of Bangabundu has amplified its significance to a great extent. Comprising of the young artists of Bangladesh and of the world, this exhibition will showcase the contribution of the young artists and their work to build peaceful collaboration among the young generations too. Artworks created under the theme of resilience for parity and prosperity, following this subject like Bangabundu and Bangladesh, COVID pandemic, humanity and refugee crisis, youth spirit in creative economy, innovation and technology, Islamic history and climate change have enriched the exhibition purpose. I thank the jury committee for the selection of 106 best artworks. I also congratulate the selected participants and the awardees as well. Esteemed audience, let me take the opportunity to thank our honorable chief guest, Mr. MD, Jahid Ahsan, Russell MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports for his kind presence. It's my privilege to express my gratitude to Honorable Chairperson, Mr. Kayan Khalid MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Cultural Affairs. I would also like to thank a special, special guest, Mr. MD Akhtar Hussain, Senior Secretary, Minister of Youth and Sports. We are thankful to be associated with the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital Program. And we are also thankful to OIC and its affiliated bodies for their collaboration with Bangladesh, with the ministries of youth and sports and Ministry of Culture. To conclude, let me thank you all for your active participation in this August gathering, especially delegates from different countries. We feel honored for your kind presence. Your presence makes us happy and makes the whole arrangement colorful. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Thank you so much, Mr. Badrul Arifin, Honorable Secretary, Minister of Cultural Affairs of the Government of Bangladesh. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to request the Honorable Senior Secretary of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Mr. Mohammad Akhtar Hussain, to kindly deliver his speech as a special guest. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Honorable Chief Guest of today's inaugural ceremony of virtual exhibition of Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020 Bangabundu Youth Art Competition. His Excellency Mr. Mohammad Zahid Hassan Rasel MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Bangladesh. Honorable Chair, His Excellency Mr. Kem Khalid MP, Honorable State Minister, Minister of Cultural Affairs. Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Guest of honor, His Excellency, Mr. Taha Ihan, President of Islamic Cooperation Yod Forum. Honorable special guest, His Excellency, Mr. Badrul Arifin, Secretary, Minister of Cultural Affairs, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. His Excellency, Mr. Liakot Alilaki, Director General, Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy, distinguished guests, learned judges, all competitors, officials from ICUF, officials from different ministries and organizations, 
your delegates, representatives of print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to you all. First of all, I would like to pay my deepest gratitude and homage to the greatest Bengali of all times, our father of the nation, Bangabandhu Shaikh Kunzibur Rahman, the icon of yours under whose undisputed visionary leadership we got our committed independence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and privilege for me to be here in this inaugural ceremony of virtual exhibition of Dhaka YC Yacht Capital 2021, Bangabandhu Yod Art Competition, organized by Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy under supervision of the Ministry of Cultural Affairs, Bangladesh. It is a great honor and recognition for Bangladesh as we own the coveted YC Yacht Capital 2020 by proving our merit in matters related to innovation, sports, culture, and inclusive youth leadership. It marks a significant recognition for the dynamic and determined leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her spirited government in the youth sector. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh joined YC in 1974 under the provincial leadership of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Shaikh Mujibur Rahman, and since then it has been playing instrumental role in different activities of YC and promote the common interests of Muslim Ummah in different international fora. The YC Youth Capital 2020 is an important program for not only the YC and ICY, but also for Bangladesh. It coincides with the birth centenary of the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The event is also significant to us in this year as we will be celebrating Golden Jubilee, that is 50th anniversary of our independence. Ladies and gentlemen, artworks and printings are the expression of the creator. The artist pours his or her heart out on the canvas. One can get a feeling while admiring an artwork, what's the message behind those strokes, colors, and theme. Through a creation, an artist delivers a message. His or her thought process, perspective, imagination, emotions, passion, the world around, and many other things might be. Competitions are important to motivate young artists and help them to develop their creative skills by exposing them to the contemporary talent in the field. By observing the work of their peers, artists have the opportunity to analyze and evaluate their techniques and outcome, uh, outcomes. As I know from the art competition, Zuri Board has selected top 100 artworks for this virtual exhibi uh, exhibition, which are going to be exhibited by Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy and Dhaka. The theme of this exhibition is parity and prosperity. Under the categories of visual forms of artworks classified as contemporary art, calligraphy, photography, and graphic design. With this competition and exhibition, I hope we could be able to showcase our yours works to all. Ladies and gentlemen, exhibitions act as the catalyst of art and ideas to the public. They represent a way of displaying and contextualizing art that makes it relevant and accessible to contemporary audiences. The art exhibition, by its nature, holds a mirror up to society reflecting its interests and concerns while at the same time challenging its ideologies and um, preconceptions. Keeping art relevant to society and to a diverse audience at any given point in history is one of the main goals of the art exhibition and one of the reasons it is so important. Art, exhibition, art competitions and exhibitions are good platform that connects artists, art lovers, judges, audiences, etc. The creator and his work cannot be able to reach to the mass 
if no art gallery arranges art exhibitions. Art exhibition opening provide many opportunities for young artists to meet and celebrate. Beyond that, uh, they get to learn about ways to foster their artist area. I would like to thank the Ministry of Cultural Affairs and the Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy for organizing this virtual art exhibition to mark an important event of YC Earth Capital 2020. I wish with all my heart the utmost success of this exhibition. I would like to express thanks to YC and ICYF once again for selecting Dhaka Thank as you, the Habib. YC Youth Capital and convey my gratitude towards the global leaders and dignitaries for their wholehearted support. I would also like to express my hope and confidence towards the youth representatives of the YC member states and the rest of the world. I hope that they will certainly make this world a better place than what it is now. Let me appreciate to all of you for re responding to our call and appearing in this pandemic situation. I hope YC Youth Capital 2020 will be a very successful event with all of your support and cooperation. Let me take the opportunity to invite you to attend all the programs to celebrate the birth century of Bangabandhu Shak Nuzibur Rahman and the rest of the programs of YC Youth Capital Dhaka 2020. The power of youth is the common strength for the whole world. The faces of young people are the faces of present and on our future. No segment in the society can match with the power, idealism, enthusiasm, and courage of the young people. So let us get on board to define a better tomorrow together. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Joy Bangla, joy Bangabandhu. May Bangladesh live forever. Thank you. And thank you to you, Mr. Akhtar Hussain, Honorable Senior Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, the Istanbul-based Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF, an entity affiliated to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, OIC, has announced Dhaka as OIC Youth Capital 2020-21. Mr. Taha Ayhan, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF, is supposed to be with us online, but actually he sent us a message. We are now playing it. I, I mean the message of Mr. Taha Aihan, Honorable President, ICYF. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my warm greetings to special guests of this wonderful ceremony, His Excellency and our brother, Zahid Hassan Rusalvey, the Member of Parliament and Honorable State Minister, Minister of Youth and Sports. His Excellency, Mr. Halid Bey, Member of Parliament and Honorable State Minister, Minister of Cultural Affairs. And Mr. Betul Arifin Bey, Secretary of Minister of Cultural Affairs. Mr. Akhtar Hussein Bey and our brother, and the hero behind this wonderful ceremony, the Senior Secretary, Minister of Youth and Sports. And Mr. Liaqat Ali Lucky Bey, Director General of Bangladeshi Hilpaka Academy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear young sisters and brothers, it's my utmost pleasure to welcome you in the inauguration ceremony of the Bangkabandu Art Competition under Dhaka OIC Youth Capital. I am most delighted that you have joined us today. I would like to extend my warm greetings to you once again, and I highly appreciate the efforts of Dhaka OIC team from both sides for making this wonderful event happen. As you already know, Dhaka OIC Youth Capital is designed to provide various capacity building programs, contests, digital gatherings, cultural workshops, and solution hub for youth and with youth. This program is one of those wonderful programs which unites hundreds of youth from all around the world and gives them an opportunity to perform their abilities. So I can proudly say that we are approaching our goal day by day. This program is also valuable for devotion to Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, the father of nation. In this regard, I would say this valuable gathering is not the first and won't be the last event dedicated to the father of nation. Because he is the founder of sovereign Bangladesh and how proud it is that young people see him as a role model. My dear sisters and brothers, dear ladies and gentlemen, we know that arts and cultural participation leads to a range of positive outcomes for children and young people, both in terms of their cognitive development and their well-being. 
art can help you to develop many positive skills and capacities that are valued by leaders and employees, such as persistence, collaboration, creative thinking, problem solving, motivation, and problem uh, solutions. When young people are given opportunity to experiment with a range of art forms of self-esteem together with individual and social well-being can be enhanced. It is therefore critical that we do everything we can to unleash to full creative and artistic potential of our young people. Helping our youth through art programs may be one of the most important steps we can take as individuals and as a society. Art is a valuable tool for discovering, exploring, and interpreting reality. Art can be a form of communication between people to focus on common issues for the betterment of humankind. And because of this, we try to realize a project related to art within the DACA OYC International Program with great pleasure and eagerly. Because this art competition provides the youth from the OYC regions and beyond a highly effective forum enabling undiscovered and upcoming artists to expose their artworks and artistic talents to the greater art community. This will also give the upcoming and emerging young artists aged from 18 to 35 a great opportunity to have their works reviewed by most esteemed judges and also to gain access to future art exhibitions. The objective of the program is to discover hidden talents and creativity of the artists and showcase them to encourage youth to adopt innovative techniques and develop their ideas and skills to encourage more young people across the globe to explore art and culture. I believe we will discover various talented artists thanks to this program and I am already looking forward to seeing those magnificent works. Actually, all the programs we have been through earned our society hundreds of talented youths. Help us to discover those young brothers and sisters. For that reason, we will continue to realize our mission and our goals as we have been doing from the very first day firmly. Dear Ex Excellencies, dear ladies and gentlemen, Bangabandhu Youth Art Competition is one of the important events of Dhaka OIC Youth Capital. Mediums and subjects of artworks of this competition seem very interesting to me. 335 artists as applicants and 100 artworks for the virtual exhibition at last is really a good scenario in this corona pandemic time. I would like to greet and congratulate the selected artists and awardees for their hard effort in their creativity. Let me also thank the honorable juries for their gracious effort in selection of artworks for the virtual exhibition as well as best artworks for awards. Also, my heartfelt thanks to all the dynamic people involved with the program of DACA OIC Youth Capital 2020-21, Bangabandhu OIC Youth Art Competition. Before I conclude, I wish that this be an event where we help each other through a spirit of unity and harmony to work towards a common vision that we all wish to achieve, a vision of peace, solidarity and common values. Because, as you all know, when we stand together as one, we will be stronger as one. I believe that this program will be highly beneficial for all our youth. And it is my deepest wish that we will do our best to bring our limitless potential found in our youth and make them live the future they deserve. While reiterating my profound thanks to you all, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to grant us success in our new programs and projects, which will certainly serve the youth of the, this world. Thank you very much for your patience and attention. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. All our thanks and gratitude to Mr. Taha Ayhan for his inspiring message to this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, today, Mr. Zaid Hassan Rasalimpi, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, will inaugurate the month-long virtual exhibition as the Chief Guest. I would like to request the Honorable Chief Guest to kindly deliver his speech and declare this virtual art exhibition officially open. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's chairs of event, His Excellency Mr. Karim Khalid MP, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Culture Affairs, Guest, Guest of Honor, His Excellency Mr. Taha Ayhan, Honorable President, Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, ICYF, Special Guest Mr. Mahmoud Akhtar Hussain, Senior Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Mr. Mohammed Badrul Arfin, Secretary, Ministry of Culture Affairs, Mr. Liakotali Laki, Director General Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy, 
high officials of uh, different ministries and organizations, journalists of electronic and print and online media, and other delegates from ICYF, excellencies, youth delegates, and all dignitaries. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and very good afternoon to you all. Distinguished guest, <clears throat> first of all, on this auspicious day of the year of the birth centenary of the father of the nation, I would like to remember the greatest Bengali all, of all time, poet of politics, the great architect of our, of our independence, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, with whose wholehearted leadership we achieved our liberty by the sacrifice of millions of lives and at the cost of chastity of million mothers and sisters of this country. I would also like to express my sincere gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister, Minister of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, who is currently leading Bangladesh towards become a developed country and a golden Bengal. Excellency, the Prime Minister, Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina, <clears throat> is a loving, dynamic, and visionary affirmative leader under whom Bangladesh is advancing more and more and highly committed to build a developed Bangladesh by 2041. We have already advanced a lot and a step into middle-income country. In this journey, the Ministry of Youth and Sports is continuing its utmost effort to build a, global, a globally competent youth force for better education, training, sporting and financial assistance approaches. You all are aware that more than one million of Rohingya refugees fled away from their ancestral homes in the Rakhine state of Myanmar to Bangladesh for their brutal cleaning or ethnic cleansing and our Prime Minister, Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina, admit them shelter in our overpopulated country. And as a result, the international media has dubbed Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina as the mother of humanity. Now she is a lighthouse of irresistible strength in the eyes of youth. She is also a successful leader in development sector. Honorable Prime Minister, Her Excellency Sheikh Hasina is fighting against a number of challenges and she is always win winning the challenges for which Bangladesh is now regarded as a role model of development in the world. Due to her visionary, strong, and self-motivated leadership, a number of mega projects are being implemented. Dha Excellencies, Dhaka Wise Youth Capital 2020 International Program was inaugurated on 27th July 2020 with Resilient Youth Summit with participation of 400 youth from 75 countries across the world. The program is one of the mega events celebrating in birth centenary of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Initially, we planned to celebrate Dhaka Wajit capital with physical presence of all dignitaries from home and abroad. But due to COVID-19, all plans had been converted to virtual platform, but committing to celebrate this program with great festivity. Ladies and gentlemen, art is extraordinary expression of some creative persons. It is a diverse range of human activities involving the creation of visual, auditory, and performing art artifacts, which, which express the creator imagination and conceptual ideas with special technical skills and emotional power. The visual arts are mainly three classical types, painting, sculpture, and architecture, but calligraphic handwriting, uh, geometric drawing, sculpture, photography, cave painting, rock painting, uh, petroglyphs, art, art, uh, architectures, etc are also known as visual art. The oldest documented, documented forms of art are visual art. A shell engraved of Homo erectus was found in 2014, which was 4.3 to 5.4 million years old. In all of the great ancient civilization, ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Persia, India, China, ancient Greek, Rome, many great traditions of art was established and survived. Today's arts are also influenced by those great, great traditions. Excellencies, Joanna Abidin, one of the greatest artists in the world was born in Bangladesh in 1914. His paintings won the Bengali 
famine of 1943 are considered as his most characteristic works. Besides, he visited Palestinian camps in Syria and Jordan in 1970 and made almost 70 paintings on refugees. He also painted on Gola Cyclone in 1970. The other famous paintings are Bangladesh Liberation War, 1971, Four Faces, Rebel Crow, The Struggle, Bride and Mirror, etc. For his artistic and visionary attributes, Jainal Abedin was given honor his Shilpa Charjo, a great teacher of the arts. Excellencies, now a number of artists have painted his history in Bangladesh. Some of them are Kamrul Hassan, SM Sultan, Abdus Shakur, Hashim Khan, Shabuddin Ahmed, Kayum Chaudhary, Nitun Kundo, Rafikun Nobi, who are world-class artists in Bangladesh. They figured Bangladesh as a dreamland. All of them are pathfinders for the new artist of every new artist should have new dream to go to a new era. It is a great opportunity for the youth of Bangladesh to participate in Bangabundu Youth Art Competition of Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020. Calligraphy is very popular in YC member states. In Bangladesh with other artworks, calligraphy is also very popular. Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy every year organizes a number of events on artworks. Asian Art Biennale is one of the most famous and regular event organized by Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy. Excellencies, I'm delighted to inform that the father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, had established Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy in 1974. The objective of this academy is to improve the art and culture throughout the country. They can exchange culture of Bangladesh with other countries of the world. Through the culture events, the world can know the harmony, peaceful and tranquil Bangladesh. Excellencies, we hope that this event will help us archive largely some of the targets of YC and ICY. We have about 53 million of youth resulting into demographic dividend, which can also act as driving force for the development of the YC member states. The youth are also, youth are always capable for promoting cultures and tradition in an innovative way, strengthening the brotherly ties and promoting the spirit of unity. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express thanks to YC and ICY one, once again for selecting Dhaka as the YC Youth Capital 2020, 2021. I also convey my gratitude to Ministry of Culture and Affairs, Aladesh Shilpokal Academy, and towards other delegates' excellencies for their generosity. Finally, let me appreciate all of you for your awesome response in spite of COVID-19 situation. We hope YC Youth Capital 2020 program will be a very successful one with all our support and cooperation from all of you. I hope to organize the closing ceremony of Dhaka YC Youth Capital program with physical presence of all awards winner, high level delegates of YC member states, including youth delegates and other distinguished guests. I'm eagerly waiting to welcome you all to celebrate that closing ceremony at Dhaka. At the end, I'm highly confident that the relationship between YC, ICY, and Bangladesh will be more fraternal and remain forever, inshallah. Thank you all. Joy Bangla, joy Bangabundhu. May Bangladesh live forever. Long live Bangladesh, YC, ICY, ties. Thank you so much, Honorable State Minister for Youth and Sports of the Government of Bangladesh, the Chief Guest on today's program. Ladies and gentlemen, a total of 32 regional awards are going to be distributed in the order of first, second, and third prize winner. Each first prize winner will receive 500 US dollar, second prize 300 US dollar, and third prize 200 US dollar, along with a certificate. Now I'd like to announce the regional awards. The first region, as we have declared earlier, is Bangladesh. All the participants are from Bangladesh. The first category is contemporary art. The first prize winner is Muhammad Yasin Arafat. 
His subject is COVID pandemic. His title, The Time. Second prize goes to Farzana Akhtar, also from Bangladesh. Her subject was also COVID pandemic, and the title was Ignorance and Oblivion. And the third prize winner in the contemporary art category is Sultana Mimi. Her subject was Islamic art, and the title was Resurrection. Now, the subject is photography. In the photography category, Abir Mahmoud wins the first prize. Bongo Bondu and Bangladesh is his subject. Crop Mosaic, a father of the nation. And Saifur Rahman wins the second prize from Bangladesh, Climate Change. His title was Climate Change Difficulty. And the third prize winner, Mohammad Najmul Hassan Khan. His subject was Islamic art, Baitul Mukarram Mosque. The next category is calligraphy. In the calligraphy category, the first prize winner is Jamil Ahmed, Islamic art, and his title was Ayat al Kursi. Second prize winner is Muhammad Yusha, Islamic art, and his title was Muhammad. And in the third prize winner in the calligraphy category, third prize winner is Tawasin Arafat, Islamic art, and his subtitle was Wave. Now the category is graphic design. In this category, the first prize winner is Shaila Sharmin. Her subject was Humanity in Refugee Crisis. Title, Empty. Second prize winner, Muhammad Shahadat Hussain. Subject, Climate Change. And the title, Vulnerable. Third prize winner, Abu Tamim. Bangladesh, COVID pandemic. And the title was Limited Speed, Narrow Path Ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh region finished now. Now we are going to Asia region. In the Asia region, contemporary art category, first prize winner, Anisia Salsabila Rizfi from Indonesia. Her subject was COVID pandemic and the title was Life in Pandemic. Second prize winner was, is also from Indonesia, Heru Yoga Pratama. Her art subject was Humanity in Refugee Crisis and the title Hard Life. Third prize winner is from Pakistan, Alina Sayyad. Her subject was Climate Change and the title Prosperous Tearing. Now the photography category. The first prize winner, Furqan Aziz from Pakistan and his subject. Humanity in Refugee Crisis, and the title, Hope for a New Dawn. Second prize winner, Amir Siamsuddin Al-Arif from Indonesia. Subject, Islamic Heart, title, Muslim Boy and Buddhist Boy. Third prize winner, Mira Sefriastina from Indonesia. Subject, Islamic art, and the title, Pray to God. Next is calligraphy category. In this category, the first prize winner is Saima Fahad from Pakistan, Humanity in Refugee Crisis, and the title is Humanity. Second prize winner, also from Pakistan, Ali Hamza, Islamic art, and the title is Nermat. Third prize winner is also from Pakistan, Muhammad Ashraf. Subject Islamic art, title, Prophet. Next category is graphic design. In this category, the first prize winner, Tri Ahmed Jabalul 
Lail. He's from Turkey, subject climate change, and the title, A Cup of Nightmare. Second prize goes to another Indonesian, Muhammad Muslim, subject, Humanity in Refugee Crisis, title, Home Just to Get Lost Again. And the third prize winner, Denny Saputra from Turkey. And subject was Bongo Bontu and Bangladesh. And the title, He Protection. Now, apart from Asia, we have rest of the world. From rest of the world, we have two prizes for each category. Contemporary art comes first. First prize winner, Mustafa bin Garnot from Algeria. Subject, COVID pandemic. Title, More Fear Than Pain. Second prize winner is from Italy, Noyon Bishash. Contemporary art subject, COVID pandemic. And the title, Bubuko. And next category is photography. Here, the first prize winner is Mohammed Rizal Gul. Rizal Guya from Algeria. Subject is Humanity and Refugee Crisis. And the title, Happiness versus Lives. Second prize winner from Morocco, Youssef Nakach. Subject, COVID pandemic, title, Dream. In the calligraphy category, the first prize winner is Waqas Akmal from United States. Subject, Islamic art, title, Allah. And the second prize winner, Umme Siddiqui from Australia. Subject, Islamic art, title, Man of Example. Next one is graphic design. Here, the first prize winner is Bakau Hassan from Nigeria. Subject, Islamic art, title, Eid Mubarak. And the second prize winner is Chanjo Rexon Ngong from Cameroon. Subject, Humanity in Refugee Crisis, title, Humanity for All. That brings us to the award giving or award announcement rather. Now I would like to request you to watch a show of the virtual exhibition. Please watch.
Ladies and gentlemen, must have enjoyed the virtual exhibition shown on the screen. If you want to see a particular picture, you can go into it and watch it closely. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request now Mr. K. M. Khalid MP, Honorable Minister of State, Ministry of Cultural Affairs of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, to kindly deliver his speech of the chair. <laughs> Dhaka YC Youth Capital 2020-21 Magundi Youth Art Competition is Udhud Anushtan. Anushtan is Chief Guest, Honorable State Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Mr. Mahu Jahid Asan Lassalipi. Guest of Honor, His Lassi Tahayyan. Honorable President of Islamic Cooperation, Yad Forum, Special Guest, Senior Secretary, Juba Clinton, Senior Sachip, General Dr. Susan, 
Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, has been declared as the OIC Youth Capital 2020, marking a significant recognition for the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her spirited government in the youth sector. The Istanbul based Islamic Cooperation Youth Forum, an entity affiliated to the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, made this declaration on 25 December 2019. It is a great honor for us in the year of celebration of the birth century of the father of the nation, Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. 10 elaborate mega events and several ancillary events have been designed for the celebrating OIC Youth Capital 2022. Which is, will be implemented through eight lead ministers, ministries, and 20 co lead ministers around the year. Ladies and gentlemen, we, the Minister of Cultural Affairs, are very delighted to get the opportunity to host the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020 21 Bangladesh Youth Art Competition. We are grateful to our associates, partners, Minister of Youth and Sports, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs in this regard. The exhibition will showcase 100 selectors' artwork from the medium of calligraphy, contemporary art, graphic design, and photography from 17 June to 16 July 2013 through a virtual gallery. Distributing gates. Culture plays an important role in building a well-balanced social structure. The Ministry of Culture and Affairs has been making a huge contribution for the preservation of local heritage, art and culture of Bangladesh, and for its expansion of the national and international arena since its inception, our objective as it explored the spread Bangladeshi culture to the world, established friendly relations with foreign countries through cultural agreement and exchanges. Respected guests, I warmly welcome all the Muslim youth forum OIC and non-OIC countries who are going to participate in this international art competition. I would like to thank all officials from different ministries and organizations, journalists, and other delegates from ICYF for making the events successful by attending today's program. My heartfelt gratitude to Bangladesh Shield Portal Academy for organizing the exhibition successfully. I wish a grand success of the Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020-21 Bangalore Youth Art Competition. Thank you all. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangalore, long live Bangladesh. Thank you so much, Mr. K. M. Khalid MP, Honorable State Minister for Cultural Affairs of the Government of Bangladesh. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request Mrs. Saida Mahbuba Karim, Director. Department of Fine Arts of Bangladesh Shilpokal Academy to kindly deliver a vote of thanks. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. On behalf of Bangladesh Shilpokala Academy, I would like to thank all the distinguished guests, including the Honorable President, Chief Guests, and all the artists friends who are, who are present on the occasion for attending the Bangabundu Youth Art Exhibition 2021. And I'd like to thank all the jury board who gave us 
their valuable times. And I have to thank all the members, the finance department, Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy, because without their help, we cannot do this exhibition smoothly. Stay well, stay safe. I wish you all the best. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Kareem. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of Dhaka OIC Youth Capital 2020-21 Bangabandhu Youth Art Competitions Inaugural Ceremony. Thank you all and bye-bye.